as far as I'm concerned, the service delivery plan is the glue that gels everything together. It's the link between what we laid out in the programme for government, which was some very ambitious aims to achieve over a five-year administration. And also, it breaks down what is within the department's own five-year strategy and delivers on the goals that we set ourselves. We set ourselves five goals in five years, and this is the opportunity to deliver on that. And I think also it focuses it more on the individual, on what we can deliver for them, and how it affects the patients and service users that are basically at the heart of everything that we do in the department. So are there tangible goals in here with realistic actions that are going to be taken over the coming year? I think there's very realistic actions within there. I think that a lot of our goals, particularly around certain things within public health, are going to transform some of the work that we do. And I think that also the way we are talking in terms of what we need to do within the hospital environment for patients and also the changes that we can do in the way that we process things, which will have an impact on our staff as well, will be a great step forward in the coming year. So if people go and look at the document, will they actually see things in there that are likely to affect the daily lives of ordinary members of the public? I think they most certainly will. Um, that is what we aim to be in the department. I've laid out already, I think in several statements to Tim Ward, that I think we need to be a transformative department and also a listening department. We need to engage with staff, take on board their ideas. And a lot of what is within the service delivery plan has come from the ground. The initial ideas have come from staff who are coal facing, dealing with patients day in, day out. And they have come forward with their ideas and we've built this into a strategic uh, plan and also a service delivery document alongside that. And will you check, measure, if you have delivered the plan? Well, as someone who was a project manager by trade when I was in the private sector, I'm exceptionally keen on milestones and key performance indicators. And obviously, any service delivery plan needs to be able to be monitored. And I think the proof will be in the pudding, but I believe it is a, a very good service delivery plan. And I believe it's deliverable. Finally, the government, and particularly the department, is... is determined to make members of the public, the people, the population, take greater responsibility for their own health. Is there anything that addresses that in this year's service delivery plan? There is indeed. Within public health, there's the obesity strategy, also the child obesity strategy as well, that is starting to be developed and hopefully will come forward in the next year as part of that service delivery plan. Also, again, the focus within the strategy that is also falls within the service delivery plan of, of doing more in the community, of more education, of making people take ownership of their own health needs, as well as treating people, obviously, in an acute setting when they need the treatment. But the key thing is that everything that we have within the service delivery plan puts the patient and service users first. Our staff across the department are highly dedicated individuals and I'm absolutely always amazed whenever I go round and see the level of delivery that they are doing on a daily basis. They care deeply for our patients and service users and everything that we're doing with this strategy puts them at the heart of it.